job and win the job in, in camp, and then he's had a brilliant season. Hands it off to the first man around, and that is Brandon Cooks, the explosive receiver on the end around, and he's already across midfield. Got a good look at him right away. Excellent field position on this first drive for the Beavers under head coach Mike Riley. The handoff is to Storm Woods, the big gap for him. And him 60 in two plays. Send the man in motion off the play action. Mannion will throw and complete to Cooks. And he breaks a tackle inside the 10, making some more moves. And he's brought down at the eight finally by Todd. And the quickness I was talking about at 5'10, 186 pounds. He added 10 pounds of muscle in the offseason. But look at the quickness here. Great eye coordination with his hands, bringing the ball in with his fingers. The quickness right here to pick up the extra yardage for Warren State. Coach, look at that quickness. I, I tell you, but it's also very well blocked. And they haven't won a football game in some two months, getting back to mid-October. Out of the shotgun. Here's Mannion now. Good protection. That ball was nearly intercepted. Tanner Vallejo was goal from the 10. Here's Mannion looking for the end zone, and it is not in, in front of Ward now. On second and five. Mannion to pass. Second down and five. Mannion looking to his left and throws the long to Cooks. Able to slip one tackle and he's brought down at the 43. Another first down. The way he gets in and out of his routes. He's got sure hands, great vision, knows how to catch the football. Terrific job of focusing on the football. But it also, the receiver ran the flat and up was Keep in mind that they were bowl eligible pretty much before anybody else was, right? They were 6-1 to start the season. Hand off to Ward. The three. Mannion has time to look around and find his target. And who do you think it is? It's Brandon Cooks. Touchdown. Coach, this is all about confidence in your offensive line. Look at Sean Mannion. Yeah. Stand tall in the pocket. He's patient in the pocket. He's waiting for Brandon Cooks to become open in back of the end zone. Third time they have hooked up. They are already the number one combination in Oregon State history. Because of that score, Beavers have themselves a 10-3 lead. Set back behind Mannion. Send Cooks in motion and hand it off to him. Cooks will take it, try to make one. What a tackle that is. Third down and three. Good genes, good bloodlines. Mm -hmm. It's Cooks again. Trying to make the move, and he's very close to that first down marker. On second down and eight. Cooks in motion, they fake it to him. I respect that every time. And then they throw it to him. Mannion to Cooks, about a yard shy of the first down before Ben Weaver made the stop. Weaver's been one of the pleasures. But he's able to hang on to the football. Brings up the first down and 10. Hand it off to Cooks. I mean, they just look to get the football into Cooks' hands every way they can. Second is here of half number one on Christmas Eve in Honolulu, Hawaii. Mannion will fire, why not? Let's yeah. take how that plays out. Daniel throw for Cooks across midfield. Coach, it's going to be in through fire, and they haven't been through fire like Auburn. And a month to prepare, which should help as well. Out of the gun. Fires for Cooks. First down. Coverage is right there. Mercy matches. If you want to know what is the difference between the two. Of afternoon. Evening, wherever you are, spending your Christmas Eve watching football on ESPN. Knocked away, some good. Come on, it's the holiday season. Yes. There he is. I'm gonna give it. Mandy will give it to Ward. Okay. Every time you talk, the crowd goes crazy, though. <laughs> I know. Jump ball. How was that not intercepted? Same time, I rattle them off if you want. All blocking tight ends? Yeah, they were in their frame. <laughs> I mean, you go back to Darren Brown, you go to uh, uh, Oscar McBride. Pete, they have a great offense. But to be a great team against a less superior team, that, that's no fun for anyone. If you're a, a fan of college football or a bowl team, Brandon Cooks on the receiving end there. This, he's going to get hit on the next level harder than this level. Coach Riley told us he gained 10 pounds in the offseason, 10 pounds of muscle this year. 